Hey, Greg. <laughs> you know, Bern, it's the last day of your apprenticeship and uh, frankly, you've shown a real lack of professional initiative. Uh, Damn it, machine! Hang on! <laughs> Listen, you better close a solid deal by the end of the day or uh, you're back on the tellers. Although you were pretty horrible at that too, so I doubt Ralph will have you back. I had the company's best. Oh, you piece of shit! Wait! <laughs> Burn, can't you see I'm busy? Now look, there's a client out there waiting for you. Close the deal, or you're out ski. I'm gonna show him in. Sorry about the wait, Ryder. Good morning, afternoon, good almost closing time. What, what can Metro Bank Credit Union do for you today? I have come to procure a cologne for a special top secret project. Hmm. We'll need a little bit more transparency on that. Was it a business loan you were after? I have a business plan. Oh, oh. Hmm. Great. Oh, for my dream board. <laughs> Right. This is uh Give me just one second. Please. Machine. Yeah, burn. This, this business plan is. It's um. Uh, it's um what? He wants to use his rental income as collateral for the loan. Do we even do that? <laughs> you should know this from orientation, shouldn't you, Burn? Look, just make sure his application is solid and get it through by five. I'm counting on you, Burn. You can do it, all right? Fuck, Lachey! Where are you in this? Okay, so I'm just gonna have to ask you a few simple questions just before I can hit the button to approve your application. That's fantastic. Hmm. Name? Colossus. Colossus. Just Colossus? Yeah. Like share. Title? Mister? Sir? Duke? Doctor? Sir, just Mr. Alright, Mr. Colossus. Current employment? Or previous? I have worked for the last 10 years in the production management under the watchful eyes of Mrs. Helen Thompson. She's a cruel, but a fair ruler at Clancy's Textiles and Haberdashery. It's the small franchise on a Lewisham Avenue, you know, the one with the big sewing needles on the roof. It's in there. Right. But it says, and I quote, he was fired for trying to garrote uh, a platinum member with a length of yarn. It was a grave misunderstanding over customer reports. Nothing really. Sure. Let's, let's talk about your laser project. Giant 
death weighs around the moon. Using the moon's orbital vantage, it can decimate all organic matter via quantum displacement. Of course. And what would this laser be used for? I just said it. It can decimate all organic matter via quantum displacement. Or organic matter? Humans, primarily. Right. Right. Just give me one more sec. So Greg, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about this whole giant death laser. Hey, well, is it a photonic denimizer? Or an anti-matter destabilizer. Mm. Uh, it shows the temporary singularity at its trajectory. A black hole. Uh, well, feasibly, he's only got the funds for a photonic detomizer. Unless he can get his parents to be guarantors for him or something. So go try that, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Colossus. There are a few gaps in the application. So I've got another idea. What's your relationship like with your parents? Oh, for shit's sake. You're an orphan. It, it's just... They expected me to finish my formal training at the Balkan Dance Academy. Without parents. A loss for. But what about my business plan? The plan is not really. Thorough. For instance, have you done any research on similar businesses in your area? Professor Annihilator has a grand plot to poison all the water sources. But that's not really the same thing, is it? What's your risk management strategy? I bought six cases of the Brazilian flesh-eating ants online and there is a plan to build a lava pit underneath the floor at the command center to dispose of pesky government agents. Yeah. But that means bringing your enemy into your top secret headquarters. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Have you even thought about insurance? Listen. I know world domination is a big undertaking, but I think I have what it takes to succeed where others have failed. I'm ambitious, industrious, and I show great disdain for human existence. The haberdashery incident? I work well with deadlines. What else do you want me to do to convince you? How flexible are you with the whole moon thing? Very, very flexible! It's a moon laser. Hear me out. If it's like, say, in Grafton, your travel costs will decrease. Research and development, down. Cost prices, down. You see where I'm going here? So instead of moon laser, I will in fact have a clearance. Liver Valley Giant Death Phaser. <laughs> Doesn't exactly instill fear, does it? But there's the local jail to recruit violent henchmen from. I already have a team. Perhaps I could use another steel tooth. Giant. <laughs> See what we have here? This is compromise. Alright! There's that smile. So it's still a moon laser? Yeah, well, um, I'm still struggling with the whole destruction of the human race aspect. Any chance? Bear with me now. We can use this thing for good instead of evil. Never! First, you wanted to relocate from the Baron. 
fear instilling landscape of the moon to the picturesque Clarence Valley. And now, now you want to take the dead out of my death wazer? It's purely for the diversification of revenue streams, I swear. You are no longer tailoring to my needs, Bernie. It will still be a death laser, but we can call it an asteroid smasher. Like an Armageddon. But at Crafton? Just to get through some of the brand reputation, you know, red tape stuff. You with me, buddy? So it's st still a moon laser. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, now all I have to do is And voila! Approved! Yeah. It's never gonna be an asteroid. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Sorry about the wait. Right uh, good, good almost afternoon. What can what can Metro Bank Credit Union do for you this evening? Oh,